Chapter 1 Introduction to Computers Introduction A computer is made up of four types of devices Input devices Processing devices Output devices Storage devices Let's understand input, process and output. Suppose your mother wants to make bread toasts in the toaster. It involves the following steps. Step 1. She puts bread inside the toaster. Input. Step 2. The toaster bakes the bread for some time. Processing. Step 3. You get the bread toasts as a result. Output. All machines generally follow these three steps. Input. Processing. Output. Input. Let us take a few examples. Sharpening of a pencil head with a sharpener. Sharpening of pencil. Processing. Sharpened pencil. Output. Making shirt from cloth on a sewing machine. Cloth. Input. Stitching. Processing. Shirt. Output. A computer is a machine. It also follows these three steps. For example, if you want to add two numbers, say 2 and 5 on the computer, you should follow the three steps. Step 1. Type 2 and give the command. Here the command is add type 5 to the computer. This is input. Step 2. The computer adds the two numbers according to your instructions. This is processing. Step 3. The result of adding 2 and 5 is 7 that is displayed on the monitor. This result is the output. The computer does the above works. Input, processing and output using some devices. These are input devices, processing devices, output devices, input devices. You enter data and instructions into the computer by means of input devices. The most Commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. A mouse is used to draw pictures and select objects and text on the computer. A keyboard is used to input your work into the computer. Do you know? Data is anything that you know is true. Data are facts that may consist of numbers, texts, images, audio, video or a combination of these. For example, 1, 5 and 7 are data. Your name and age is also data. Some other input devices are joystick, scanner, microphone and light pen. Joystick. It is used to play games on the computer. Microphone. It records voice, music and sounds into the computer. Scanner. It is used to scan pictures into the computer. Light pen. It is used to select objects and text on screen. You can directly draw figures on the screen. Processing devices. The processing unit of a computer is Central Processing Unit, CPU. The CPU is present in the CPU box. The CPU does all calculations of the computer. Do you know what your brain does for you? It remembers things and takes decisions. It also does calculations and many other things. The CPU is known as the brain of the computer. The computer does all its work through the CPU. SMPS, RAM, motherboard, hard disk drive, microprocessor, inside view of CPU box. CPU has three parts. ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. It does all the calculations. CU, control unit. It controls all the activities of the computer. It tells other parts of the computer what they should do. MU, memory unit. It stores data and information temporarily. Do you know? When you process data and put it in a meaningful form, it becomes information. So, processed data is called information. Output devices. Output devices show the result of the work done by the computer. The most commonly used output devices are monitor and printer. 
It shows the work done by the computer. Printer. It helps you to take the result on paper. Some other output devices are speakers and plotter. Speakers. Speakers help you to listen to music and sounds. Plotter. It is used to take large printouts of drawings on paper sheets. Do you know? There are mainly three types of printers. Dot matrix printer, inkjet printer and laser printer. Storage devices. These devices are needed to store data and information. These are called storage devices because they store things for computers. Storage devices or memory units are integral parts of a computer system. Now, let us learn more about storage devices. Memory. The data and instructions that are entered into the computer system through input units are to be stored inside the computer in some storage media. The storage media is known as memory. There are two types of memories. Primary memory, secondary memory. Primary memory. It is the main memory of the computer. It is present on the Primary memory is of two types. RAM and ROM. RAM, random access memory. It is used for holding the data temporarily while the computer is working. Its data gets erased when the computer is switched off. ROM, read-only memory. It holds instructions put by the manufacturer to operate the computer. It is a permanent memory. Remember, motherboard is the main board present inside the CPU box. The CPU and other internal parts of a computer are attached to it. Secondary memory. The secondary memory is used to store data permanently. Its data is not erased even when the computer is switched off. Some common secondary storage devices are hard disk, compact disk and pen drive. Hard disk. It stores all software and data and is fixed inside the CPU box. Compact disk. It is a small portable device that stores large amount of data. Pen drive. It is a small portable device that stores very large amount of data. Do you know? CD-ROM stands for compact disk, read-only memory. Pen drive is also called flash drive. Remember, Secondary memory devices are sometimes exclusively referred as storage devices.